G'day and welcome to Marketing Sound After Work. Today I want to talk about another little bit of parallax to help some people. Um, and I've been through what parallax is, how to set parallax up, um, whether it's on the side of your scope or on the, on the front of your scope, um, and that you're basically moving your eyeball around to check your parallax and make sure your crosshairs don't move on your scope and that's the most important bit of parallax. A lot of people still consider the parallax the focus knob, so that's how they focus it at different distances. Um, and although it does that, its real job is to get the crosshairs to stop moving. If you find where the crosshairs are not moving, it's not focused, then it's adjusting your diopter, adjusting down the back of your scope and get that straight, get that so that's clear, and get your crosshairs not moving, and that should be in the right place. Some scopes at different ranges, different powers, you need to mess with them a little bit. That's why some of the fast focus rings are there. In most good scopes, that's not a problem. But that's always, the, the main thing I'd always come back to is checking that your crosshairs aren't moving when you move your eyeball around the behind the scope. Um, so I've got videos on that. I've also mentioned a few times that in some cases, scopes will change their, fo change their um, the, the parallax. So a few shots into it, and if you check again, all of a sudden the parallax is, is gone. It's, it's out of whack, and you have to adjust it every shot in some scopes. Some good scopes have even been like that. In most cases, when it's like that, there's a fault. But there's another trick that goes with this in some cases. There, if there's a little bit of free play inside there, one of the ways you can remedy this is by always going too far with your parallax and coming back. So you're actually pushing it back. So actually what can be happening, a little bit of free play, is the mechanism is moving forward under recoil. And if you have it set so it's actually holding in the pushing forward thing, then it always goes forward a little bit. If you go too far with your parallax and come back onto it to get it right, that can remedy that in some situations. Um, not ideal, but it can be the fix of a good scope that you haven't got a way around fixing it that can actually fix it. If you go too far forward, come back onto it, then that can actually make your parallax work. In some cases, this is the same format with, with elevation turrets on some scopes. If you always go in the one direction, I think it's always lifting them up. It's not something I've had to mess with, but it actually can hold your elevation in the same thing because there's a little bit of free play and the shake of recoil can actually make them move from that. So if you always, I think it's, I don't know if it's pushing down, lifting up, not something I have to do, but it's using it in the same direction can cause that same sort of thing with the elevation turret. But the main thing I wanted to tell you today is that well, I reiterate that parallax is probably the biggest reason for a poor group, um, even with some very expensive scopes. There are particular scopes that have a renown for the problem. I'm sure the internet will tell you. I, won't, I haven't got any scopes here because I don't want to put any blame on anybody, uh, but there is something to check. And it can happen in any scope. There could be a little bit of free play that you can't really feel that's causing the same thing of the parallax moving um, inside there. But double check it, just a good thing to do. A few shots in, just do that little dance around with the eyeball behind the reticle, check to the crosshair's not moving, and it's all good. Then, then, then there's something else causing you the problems. Um, and if you keep on hitting the bullseye, then just leave it all alone, it's just working fine. Anyway guys, that's the quick one on that. Um, just check your parallax um, and be prepared to check it again. And maybe rolling too far forward and coming back onto it can fix a, a scope that's actually been causing you a bit of grief otherwise. Anyway, thank you very much for checking in. We'll catch you next time.